Hello, everybody, and welcome back to City Fix with me, Biffa. Yes, we're doing an old-fashioned fix your city in this episode, and this one is a pretty, pretty, pretty blocked-up city. Let's just take a quick look at the oldie red map. Or, as always, just to let you know, I play with traffic despawning turned off, which isn't the normal vanilla way. It's a setting in the traffic manager mod that makes things even harder look at all of this look at all of this it is nuts it's all everywhere now if i turn despawning on most of these cars have just disappeared <laughs> but as you can see it is blocked up everywhere this is absolutely nuts well we've got to try and fix it thank you very much to sveb for sending in this city to fix it's called drip islands if you wish me to fix your city check out the link in the description below and send it in with all the relevant information and we will see what we can do so what is the percentage it is 14 percent Oh my giddy aunt, 14% and it's getting worse. Now, there's a lot of different things going on here that we need to look at. I would, l and there's a lot of stuff to fix in the city as well, look. <laughs> because of the traffic's really bad, they can't get round, pick up the bodies, they can't get to work. Yeah, and the population is dropping. Let's just pause that a second. I want to jump into the transport tab and see what we've got going on here. Okay, so we have no buses at all, no trolley buses no trams we do have some metros which is great um that one isn't being used that one isn't being used i'm assuming that something's broken there that one has 334 passengers and i was going to say i bet most of them are all stood at one stop yes they are so we're going to have to look at the metro lines as well what's this here oh you've got lots of underground roads and things okay so we'll check those out uh train lines none ferry lines none and the other stuff none okay well let's maybe check out the metro first where is this line so it goes over here and then something breaks i'm assuming that would have come up over here somewhere oh there we go okay yeah i can see exactly what's happened there uh, there were i think about six assets that wouldn't load so to me that looks like some sort of underground station that you had there before oh my goodness look at all these cars coming out of there some some sort of underground station that uh, hasn't loaded so what we're going to do is just replace it with this one and then we'll connect that back up again and oh actually it looks like it's automatically connected so let's just see if the stops i think have sorted themselves out oh excellent if that's the case uh, let's just run that for a second see if we get any vehicles vehicles one yep there we go so that's going up vehicles two excellent so that's fixed that right so where where do we go to fix the traffic um where is a good place to start so they're coming in this is like the tail end of it over here and they're coming down here let's have a look let's follow them they're all coming off here they're all coming along the bridge here this is all getting a bit hawky balky although they're moving we definitely need to do some stuff on there and they're all merging here i just want to see if there's a oh they're all oh, look at that all of that is coming off of this road here to then go round down on this road down onto that highway then they sort of go up here okay look this bit here i think we could definitely change you do have two dedicated turning lanes which is good i think maybe a little bit further back here we want to stop them from there we go look we can see no despawning we want to stop them from changing lanes oh you've done that you've stopped them from changing lanes everywhere <laughs> okay yeah that ain't gonna work right let's just sort this out so we're gonna delete that um, and we're gonna come down here and delete all of these i can see what you've tried to do you've tried to fix it but you can't just force everybody to go into the stay in the lane on every node because then it becomes a problem so let's get rid of that as well um i would here only have one lane going off have two going on one going off uh this is only one lane anyway i believe oh there's actually two lanes there well that one can go into either so that's fine and then i would say just the node before where they're going off will say don't change lane just so we can have it stack up a little bit but then these ones here you want them to work it out for themselves this way you've got let's have a look let's do a little bit of lane mathematics over here let's grab 
two lane highway and then we'll come back to what we were talking about so three lanes one goes off down to two so that gives you an automatic lane going off two going on then it merges back on so two plus one is three then it goes off back down to two comes back on back up to one and then every place where they're coming on then you can do this you notice the difference they all get a lane each now whereas before they didn't let's do it there that's fine we'll also do the other side of the road there we go and then every lane where they're coming on there we go we're gonna get rid of this one here because we want them to change lanes i bet you've got this all over the city you know where you're stopping people changing lanes where they shouldn't and that just doesn't work that just messes everything up so that's every direction we've got those done yeah so already they're moving a bit look what is going on here oh my goodness that's like a huge no that only needs to be a single lane off around there most definitely have you done that anywhere else again you've probably sort of reacted to your traffic and thought i need more lanes and it's just completely made everything worse so they can come off here they're going to merge they're going to get more here they're going to merge they're going to get more they're going to get hugo through there where they merge and hugo through there the other side we've done there we go that will work a lot better believe me and then they're going to come down here we're going to take out these stick in your lane every single oh my goodness i'm gonna to have to go through all the highways and do this aren't i <laughs> and then here we need to just add a bit of a lane buffer we've got three plus one i'm just double checking that that is one lane there it's a two lane because you've got one plus one okay i can see what you've done but what we're going to do because this is coming onto here we're going to have one and one going into one just because then we want to make this a four so i'm going to make that a four for a couple of stretches i'll stop them switching in the middle of my section so now this whole section here there we go so they all get a lane to come in these ones going straight on or this one going into here and then where it goes from four to a three which is right there they can do a little bit of merging if they want and that normally would work okay look at that this is going much much better now down here so that means eventually all of this will go down as well. I can see you've got all of this stay in the lane on oh my goodness me don't do this everywhere all you're doing is forcing the cars to get in a lane and forever go in that lane and never get anywhere so i feel like i need to just go around the highways and just remove all of those so yeah let me just do that actually you don't have them over here which is good so while we're here i'm going to do a bit of lane mathematics on this one so same thing three one goes off down to two same in the other direction and then where they merge i'll say hugo there you get a lane each and we'll do it there as well it's not that busy so that probably wouldn't be too bad and then here i'm gonna say that and then here i'm gonna do control left click so they can just merge in look hopefully without getting in each other's way and then you've got plenty of other nodes along here where they can change direction what's this a motorcycle convoy oh it's not a motorbike convoy look it's a convoy of these little electric cars Ah, fantastic all in a line brilliant okay right let me just go around and still check then if we've got any more of these set up where they shouldn't be okay so we'll leave it like that for now so let's go back to where we were so we've got this bit coming in here they're hitting this section here we've now got dedicated turning lanes everywhere i'm just looking here you've got this one splitting off coming down here let's just yeah give you lanes each but then you've got another one joining down here again it's not that busy i'll just add a couple of segments of four lane stop them switching in the middle and give them a lane each so they can just keep moving through moving through this will be moving through this here where they're joining you've got you got any lanes going off right that's going to come out and this is going to join here instead so that gives us one extra there. So what I'm going to do is add four lane. So we've got three plus one is four. And I'm going to keep that four all the way down here. So you then get another lane going off. And then this can stay as three because then that'll match your bridge going over there rather than having this as three lanes and that as two. And that'll give you a dedicated lane, look. And all the cars are like, yay, we've got all the lanes we want. And then all I'm going to do here is just say, Hugo there. So they get a lane each and i might just say stick in the lane once and then they've got all these other nodes to change lanes uh, let's not do that hopefully that should be a dedicated lane no so we use this tool control left click that's now dedicated turning off lane so actually i'll put that back in again there we go and then i'll take these ones out because what happens here is look anybody that comes in if this person here coming up here wanted to be in the outside lane they've got to do it in this node because there's no other choice can't do it there there or there so that's not very good so here hmm, 
Oh, it's another one of these again. Oh my goodness me. So I'm going to remove that one. Remove that one. That one I'll keep in because it's right before the junction. So it just allows the traffic coming off to stack up a bit further back. But this one here, let me just do the lane mathematics and the line stuff that you've already seen me do. I've upgraded this one here to a two lane again. It caught me out. Let's put that back down to one. I'm hoping all these others are one lane. Yeah, that's what we need. That's all you need. If you set it up right, there we go. And now they all get a lane each coming on. That will work perfectly. This bit here oh my goodness what is going on so we've got these lanes for coming off see again you're forcing these people here they're sticking in i mean they could no they can't because you've got these yeah because you've got this set up like that where they're going round. they're getting forced into that lane and then they're getting forced off and that is it but i've got to be honest this is just too much this is too much so look, you've got this lane up here. They could just go along. Oh, that's a one-way road, isn't it? Uh, oh, they can go up here, can't they? Yeah, they could just go up there and get onto the highway and then go there, which is fine. And then you've got this coming up and joining there. So basically, at some point, you've had so much traffic that you've added in. Let's just pause the game a minute. All these extra things to try and deal with the traffic to avoid using this roundabout but if you have your roundabout set up correctly you don't need to do that it will all move see what you've done is stop the problem being here in inverted commas and cause it over here instead look at all these cars here they're just like nope we don't know what to do because of all of this and then oh we're at 24 percent. and then down here you don't need all these lanes you've got one lane coming off. this can be three lane again look one lane coming off down to two That'll be so much more manageable. There we go. You get a dedicated turning off lane. These guys can go back over here. These will sort themselves out in a minute. This really doesn't need to be that many lanes. This can be three lane. There we go. Even that. Yeah, that's three lanes. That's three lanes down here. This can be three lanes along here. This one. Any, any road that's coming off like that, one lane more than enough and i'm assuming this one's going to come off somewhere up here yeah so you've done the same here you've got your highway coming down you've gone oh my goodness the traffic's so bad so what they're doing instead of using all of this road here look it's all green no one's on it they've all just taken this bypass to come all the way down here and to join the roundabout anyway so it hasn't actually helped so i'm gonna delete all of this I'm going to just leave that connected to there just because I'm not quite sure what that's going to do if I remove that. We'll come back. I'm sure we'll find that another time. Control left click, dedicated lane coming off. So now these are all going to come down this way. Uh, where does this one go? Yeah, see, this road comes round and joins on. It probably doesn't need to. I'm going to delete that. So now they're all going to come down here, all come down here. And then we've got all of this looking a bit winky wonky. So whoop, let's go back into this mode. This would normally just be one lane coming off like that, wouldn't it? Let's use the move it mods. Just sort of do this, just sort of do that. Give them a bit of a chance. So you've got one lane coming off, two lanes going on, doing the old hawky borky. Yep, that's fine. Then they're going to join up here. And they all want to get to this roundabout, don't they? Okay, so just looking at this, you've got this road that comes off here and it goes all the way around and hooks in the back here. And then you've got the outside coming all the way around and that was one of the ones that came over here. Instead of doing that, you could just hook into here. That would just be absolutely fine. So we do the roundabout and then, yeah, I don't think that would be a problem. So that would then mean we could get rid of that one. So let's get my underground view going and carefully make sure I don't delete the wrong road. And you've done the same here. You've like come off of here to try and miss this roundabout, but no one's using it anyway. So, and you've got this one here, which is like trying to bypass the entire roundabout. So basically you've had problems with this roundabout <laughs> and the way you've tried to fix it is bypass road on top of bypass road, get the things fixed then they will work much, much better. So let's just remove the tail end of these. There we go. So that then helps this section here. So we can have a you go there so they all get a lane each. And then what we could do as you've got that one going off, instead of downgrading, well, you don't want to downgrade, you need an extra lane there anyway. So if we just add like a fourth lane on, so they can spread out, you've got a lane for going off, the other three for going on, we will suggest to them that's what they need to do to then come on the roundabout and give way for the traffic on the roundabout that at the moment is is causing all sorts of problems okay so this shoe oh and you've got this little bypass here as well that's what we've just set up and we don't need it after all of that didn't even need the darn thing that can go back down to three lanes there we go cool because this roundabout will work trust me it will work 
So what have we got if we follow this up here? Let's control left click with the lane arrows to give you a dedicated turning lane there and there. If you want them to go over the top, that's fine. Let's just straighten this out a teeny touch. Doesn't make a huge amount of difference, but it's making me cringe. There we go. So they can come that way. This last little bit, I am going to change it. It's only one way, isn't it, that road? I'm going to give it a three lane one way. Just so they can pick all the different ways they want to go. Uh, this one coming up here, don't need more than one lane let's use the correct one there we go and that coming on and that coming off is far too close together i want to move this because yeah changing lanes coming on going off and all of that sort of porky balkiness right close next to each other yeah that's fine so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use the move it mod and we're gonna take that that and that and we're gonna shift it up there we go. So that adds a bit of space there. And I'm going to do the same. This is just instead of redrawing the roads. So I'm going to do this. Move this all up. That can curve around a bit to help them get on. I just want to add a node into there. So we'll use the node controller. Do that. Uh, yep, that's fine. Hasn't done anything weird. And then this here, we can just sort of bring that out a bit. There we go. So we still get it going off. But it's just a little bit further back. And there's a node for switching. We're going to do control left click. Dedicated turning lanes. Or the eagle eyed if you would have spotted that so it's going to be difficult there's still going to be some lane switching from these guys now is this let's have a look this is where designing your roads a little bit better would help because all of these people up here are all trying to get through to the highway and at the minute the way they're doing it is by going through this residential zone and then you've got all of this going on now you've got this road up here and unfortunately it just hits into here now if we had this running say sort of down here and along there and had some connections to it they could actually join that and then come and join onto the highway so i'm just wondering whether we could just do a little bit of a change here let's move some of these out of the way okay so now we've got some space down the middle here let's we'll see how that looks yeah that's better so we're going to draw that down the middle here So again, you've done the same thing. These people are struggling to get in and out. So you've got all these bypass roads coming over to here. So I'm going to remove those very carefully. In fact, it's too difficult to remove them all. I'm just going to delete them from here. And then I'm going to just delete them from there. And now they just don't do anything. So that's good. <laughs> there we go. So they can join this road here. They can now come all the way up to here. Let's go like that around the corner, up and over the top. And then we can connect these two up. Um, I actually want that to come across straight, say, to there. There we go. So we've now got access to this. And now, if we want to, we can have some roads going on and off on here. Something like this. Right, okay, I've set some lanes coming up and coming off on each side. Line them up the best I could. This isn't going to be so busy that it matters if there's a four-way junction here and there and that sort of thing. And then what I've done, I'll just show you with this one here. Uh, if it's coming up, I'll make sure that give way is on. And then I use the lane arrows and make sure that it only turns the way that means it doesn't cross over the traffic. So let's just do these last two here. That one's coming in, so I'll do a control left click, get dedicated lanes coming in. This one's going out so we're going to give that one give way and should only turn yeah there we go left that one's coming down so that's just going to be dedicated turning lanes that one's going up and i think that's the last one a bit close to that one there that is actually really weird and steep oh my goodness me that is far too steep <laughs> let me change that okay there we go that's not too bad there's probably a couple of different ways you could have done this but in the limited amount of time that i've got this is what we're going to go for so i hope Hopefully now what we're going to see is people start using these roads here to cross over. I should have had these facing the other way. It wouldn't have made any difference, would it? No, that's fine. That's fine. So people are going to start getting onto this sort of collector road here instead and then coming around here and joining this as opposed to trying to get in and out on just these little couple of roads. Yeah, hopefully that would help. And then overall, I would perhaps... Yeah, I mean, you've got like a park here, but finding some way to connect that... Like you've got this here if that could run through and connect over here that would just give them all that extra option to go somewhere it's going to mean moving a few things around let's just perhaps 
pop that over here there we go still get the benefit from that and just see if i can run this oh it's going to be difficult because we've got this in the way what's that a recycling center that could definitely move somewhere couldn't it because this road's not that important let's just see what we can do There we go that should be fine they'll start using that i'm sure let's say go straight through go straight through yeah it just gives them another option to get in the city without having to go all the way around the other way what is going on here we've got some hawky balkiness going on here do you know what you probably made this one yourself so you know i'm not going to say anything because i never make junctions myself so well done for giving it a try there we go and already cars are coming down here which is great heading off into this part of the city i mean you could adjust this road a bit if you want put some tunnels in but yeah just giving you a rough idea of how i would fix this area it's actually not a bad view is it coming over here let's speed it up a bit zippity doo -dah. and then we get off into the city here fantastic so let's maybe take a look at some of the other needs of the city probably something is going to jump out at you pretty much here is all the death that's going on in the city now i'm interested to see what the coverage is death care so you've got death care all over the place i bet what the big problem is is you've got ones that need emptying actually over here no you've got all the crematoriums over here which is good i think it is just literally the traffic so it might be that we just need to let this run a little bit yeah and let those things go around let's just have a look at the rest of the coverage that we've got here so healthcare is pretty good for where all the people are that's fine child care yep yeah, we've got that covered yep yeah, elder care you've got that in as well what are these houses this side are oh, commercial and shops that's fine uh fire coverage let's check that out as well oh, actually trash coverage garbage processing yep got plenty of that these aren't being got to because of the traffic well that's something that we understand all about don't we just checking that there's not any that need emptying i don't think there is fire safety looks pretty good this hasn't been built in yet so we haven't got any coverage there that's okay crime coverage yeah pretty good as well plenty of space in the jails and yeah that's good so i think just for now we need to just let this run for a bit we're at 23 percent, so it's gone up and just see how much of a difference these changes make so i bet there's some more things we could do along here though before we do that we've done this roundabout yeah or this uh intersection we've done this uh this is all coming off here we've got dedicated lanes there we could do with that so they come on and don't get in each other's way that goes off and splits but that's not too busy that's fine dedicated lane there so this going up and coming down here is is far too close to this and you've got a whole extra section of this roundabout which is unused so what we could do let's grab the two lane uh, no let's grab the three lane why not where's the node i'm going to do it where the node is just so it doesn't mess anything up and we're going to go into there and then turn that around there we go so that's going to come out and join that roundabout and then we're going to say give way when it goes on so that just helps that a little bit uh that's going off right after there what i'm thinking is is just to get rid of that because it's right after the junction and instead we could sort of merge that into there actually that can just go into there that'll be fine straight off like that no problem at all let's just give that a dedicated turning lane there we go yeah this might take a while you know because we're actually at that point where it's all at such a standstill that nothing is moving very quickly these are starting to move they're all just sat looking at each other i'm I'm wondering whether this is one of those cases where i do need to just clear all the traffic just clear the whole lot clear clear all the traffic everywhere and then just let it start up again and run it for a good you know half an hour what's going on over here yeah we need a bit of help over here look they're all bunching see this is coming on and that's coming on all in the same spot that's going off there let's give them a dedicated turning lane yeah this is just too too much oh that is like a turnaround spot isn't it is there nowhere else they could turn around they could turn around at that roundabout over there if they really want to so let's not do this just have one lane where they're coming on and is there one going off look there's one going 
going off up here. So good case for lame mathematics. Three, one going off, down to two, oh, and the next one, and then back up to three again. And then where they come on, we'll just do that. There we go. That you don't really need that there. We'll just say control left click with this one, get a dedicated turning lane. Uh, oh, auto save. Do you know what? I was just thinking, I really need a sip of tea. Mmm. Ah, lovely. So I'll tell you what, in this instant, as it is so chock-a-block, I'm still going to keep despawning. No despawning, so despawning's turned off. I'm going to clear the traffic. I do get that comment quite often. Why don't you just clear the traffic and then run it for a bit? So let's clear the traffic. Yep, and then we're going to just run it. <laughs> Suddenly all these things have disappeared. We're going to just run it and see what happens. So immediately that's going to jump up to some ridiculously high figure, but you can see the road still haven't recovered. And let's turn that off. There we go. So we can see things running as they should. Right, it's been a few minutes, I'd say about 10-15 minutes, and we're at 75%. As you can see, still a lot of red roads, but what I've just noticed about your city, if we go into this view here, for instance, you've got huge blocks of residential, loads of residential, loads of residential, loads of residential, and if they want to get to any commercial, it's quite a way to travel. Over there, over here, this here big block of commercial over here and you can see all these cars coming in so if you're going to put in some now are these low entity how have you got this little zone set up here let's have a look so you've got free public transport big business benefactor come one come all subsidize youth yeah so this is all commercial zone just want to check the size of these to be honest historical building no oh i see they are the yeah this one here that's what i'm looking for organic and local produce so you've sort of built this organic and local produce area here and lots of these residents i want to travel over there and get to it what you could do is mix the two and you could also do the same with this here this is only low density commercial uh this is your high density so high density maybe put that separate you've got the noise uh, but these two you could mix in with this you don't need to separate it out so for instance what i would do uh, let's take this so let's just count how many squares you've got in it let's just say 34 squares all together of commercial in these two spots here so what i'm going to do is let's do that remove all of those in this zone here so that is its own little zone yes it is so we can set up for any where is the one this one here we go any commercial that we put in there is going to be the same and then we'll grab this let's just let all those disappear it's not quite the same amount as we've taken out i'm going to place these ones on the side as well and then what i'm going to do over here is remove some of these and replace them with the uh, residential right we're up to 61 and a half thousand we're actually making money which is good um there's a bit of traffic as everybody sort of getting used to where they're going but this is a lot clearer this isn't too bad uh, this road down here does get super super busy and i was just going to use the in-game tool to check where they're all going so basically the purple one are the private vehicles so there's lots of private vehicle travel down this this road lots of them are coming up onto the highway down this way up here to another huge commercial zone so they're all traveling up there and then they're also going around here again and off this way to leave the city so lots of getting to other places places by car and as we said before there's not too much of the old mass transit going on so we do have a couple of free metro lines now let me just have a look at those look at that lots of people using them now so we do have a metro line that comes up here where does that go so it comes there and then we've got this other one that comes around the outside but it doesn't really sort of get the people in the middle here uh, there's no stops along here at all there's one over here one down there so we've got sort of one stop here one stop there but not really covering i mean this is the bulk of where your residential houses are so actually this got at this area here look the traffic isn't too too bad because they're all keeping to themselves whereas as soon as you start getting onto the highway and into this area look it very quickly snarls up again so we definitely need to put in some mass transit in this area so let's just pause the game right okay step one um i've removed this purple line that was going all over the place and i put stops in here there's lots of uh, residential commercial so we've gone for sort of a wiggly line through every 
few blocks and that just joins round into a big loop that comes back up here again so this is all in a loop i really actually want to bring this into it as well we've got lots of residential houses there so let me just adjust that slightly okay there we go so it goes round there it now goes through here and again i've got it sort of every other block alternating then it takes in the industry area over here uh back round past this industry area here and then back to where we started uh, it's just the purple one that we're looking at let's just turn these other two off there we go and then ideally if for instance it's an area like this where you've got one metro station and then your industry sort of spread all over the place you just have like a bus that runs around in this area here so i'm assuming somewhere we're going to have a bus station no that's a cargo train hub or let's put uh, some bus stops down and that'll soon tell us no okay so let's just pop in a bus station there we go that'll do up there a little bit of space and then we can just run from this one here which way around is that going to go this way and you can just run it around the outside just to help people get to where they oh, are okay you've got alternating roads fine go like this then that can come which way is that going to go uh, this way and maybe come up round here yep stop there that's a lot of stops let's just loop it backwards and forwards there we go and it saves them using their cars you know what's going to happen now that line is going to have 30 million vehicles on it 11 not as bad as i thought but you know what we'll drop that down to four and we'll keep an eye on that right so next we're going to replace this a uh, green metro line here so i'm going to delete it as we've changed a lot of things uh everyone's unhappy about that but that one's going to go around the outside so that's going to start here um, and that's going to take a big detour it's going to overlap with this one here which is good we're going to skip all of these and come straight up the outside to here we're going to stop up there that go in yep and a stop right around the outside i'm going to add another stop over here in a minute then it's going to come down the outside here and go back again uh let's just just add again we've got all this high density all sorts of stuff going on there but only one station at one end so we're going to just see if we can add in uh, another station here let's delete some of that should be able to sleep squeeze one in somewhere yeah there we go that'll do let's hook this up that's it there we go we'll add another stop there and then of course you could just have a, a bus running up and down here although it's not that far to get from one to the other so i think that'll be okay and then if we pop on our purple line as well that we've got so we can see that they cross over at a couple of points which is good so if somebody wants to change and go onto the other line that's great right so we've got clockwise counterclockwise for sort of the purpley color clockwise counterclockwise for the yellowy color and the same for the green color and that has taken care of this whole area of the city which is a huge amount of traffic um, this one here doesn't actually have a line so i'm going to create a line from there i want it sort of just to go over here and back again but i don't think we're going to be able to do that i'm going to pop it up here yeah some of these are now overlapping quite a lot what i'm going to do is jump actually no i'm not going to jump any stops i'm just going to run that around i think we're going to be okay like i said because it's all loops and everything nothing should all get in its way and then if we come oh my goodness me it's got a loop around everywhere <laughs> <laughs> and then back round here again and then it'll come back round and hook into here i'm not going to double that one up we'll just leave that one as it is that was number 10 was it let's pick uh light blue for that one and i think that's everywhere covered so that's covered that's covered all of this is covered i've put one in here even though there's nothing all built here yet that's covered the only place that isn't is down here but that's not too much traffic so yeah let me run all that for a bit just a quick jump in looking at the lines there are so many people wanting to use the metro look at this so many people which is good it means we've got our coverage but what we don't want is them hanging around waiting for too long so i'm going to up my vehicles on the lines that really need it see this one here probably doesn't need six i'm going to drop that down to four and then hopefully we're going to have it covered oh my goodness what whoa so that's got two, three lines coming through here. And where's that? That's at the top. Yeah, you see, with all of these coming in by this cargo harbour, uh, by this harbour as well, thousands of people pouring in. So that just shows that in this city, mass transit is sorely, sorely needed. And yeah, we just need more and more and more.
and just a quick update on our metro line so many passengers using the metro line which is absolutely brilliant that is what we want to see in our city we're nearly up to eighty thousand again and we're still making money which is absolutely brilliant okay so a lot of the issues that we had are going down just a few little trash issues and things balance stuff that is all sorting itself out what are we at 85 percent i'm pretty pleased with that most of this is great there's a few little red spots but it's all moving it's all okay as always the industry is busy but yeah it's not backing up too badly so i'm pleased with that i'm pleased with that the overall design of this city was okay it was hampered a bit by the way the highways were set up and there was no easy way to get from one side of the city without having to go through loads of intersections and all that sort of stuff but we've negated a lot of that problem with the use of our metros which are just absolutely flying So what did you think of that city fix? Let me know in the comments below. If you would like to see more, be sure to leave a like as well. That is always greatly appreciated. And I will see you all very soon. Have a fantastic day. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.